So, how old would you like to be when you retire? But how old do you think you will be when you retire? These were questions we wondered about in the last year. Both of our aunties gave birth to baby girls in 2013, and we read in an article that one in two girls born today will live to be 100. This is Kathy with her cousin Vivian, and I'm Eve. This is me with my cousin Alice. We wondered what their lives would be like and how long would they be working for. Did you know that the retirement age in Ireland went up to 66 this January and it will increase to 68 by 2028? I'll only be 27 then, so who knows what the retirement age will be by the time I get there. We're both first year students in Kinsale Community School and our school has a very high success rate in the BT Young Scientist and Technology Exhibition, both here and in Europe. So our teachers encouraged us to participate in the event. We decided to enter a project based on the ageing workforce of the future. So now we have some questions for you. How do you feel about the increase in the pension age? How do you feel about having older people in the workforce? In your opinion, how old is someone when they're considered old? And is there a difference between how old you are and how old you feel? Finding the answers to these questions became the aims of our project. We designed a survey to ask these questions. We bought 24 pictures of older people off Shutterstock.com and piloted these on a sample of people until we had them now down to one man and one woman, both of whom were agreed to look around 70 and healthy so we could avoid bias. We brainstormed a list of jobs, some manual, some managerial and some professional. Some of these jobs were ones you would typically associate with older people and others weren't. We want to see what type of jobs do the public feel comfortable with an older person doing. So that was the easy part. Yeah. It was then the hard part started. We spent weeks standing in public spaces, trying to persuade the public to fill out our two-minute survey and that we really weren't asking them for any money. Mm. We, went, we went to places like shopping centres, the Discovery Science Fair, and even here in UCC. We're really short on young males, so that's why we came here. We were also short on older people, so we set out looking for them too. Some people are very hard to age. We decided to collect surveys from as many locations around the country as possible, and we stratified our respondents to match the age and gender profile from the census taken in 2011 by the CSO, the Central Statistics Office. Eventually, we had collected our 1,147 surveys and it was then on to the dreaded inputting. We inputted all of our surveys onto an Excel spreadsheet and analyzed them using JMP, which is a statistical software package. We're very lucky that we attend Kinsale Community School as they taught us how to understand and run statistical tests, which really helped us to get the most out of our data. The judges in particular were very impressed with both our sampling methods and use of statistical techniques. So this is what we found. And we had quite a number of interesting findings. Most people over the age of 25 feel younger than their actual age. In fact, more than half of the over 65s felt up to 10 years younger than their chronological age. We found that on average, people would like to retire at 60, but don't think they'll be able to retire until they get to at least 65. When asked at what age one should no longer be obliged to work, they said 64 years. This figure is lower than the current pension age, which shows that the general public isn't too happy with the rise of the pension age. When asked how old is old, only one third of respondents thought that people became old before the age of 69. So, forming one of our most interesting findings overall, is that people want to retire nearly a decade before they even become old, which is a clearly unsustainable proposal for society. We showed both of these pictures to our survey respondents and asked them, to asked them to estimate how old they were. We had a list of 10 jobs and we asked our respondents how comfortable they would be having these people in these jobs. So look at the man. How old do you think he is? And would you be happy with him as a judge? Or an air traffic controller? Or an assembly line worker? And how old do you think the woman is? Would you be happy with her as a dentist? or a restaurant manager, or even a computer programmer. Well, it turns out that the respondents were not at all happy with the thought of an older person in some of the occupations, such as air traffic controller and assembly line worker. 
Interestingly, and I think somewhat disappointingly, the, man, the comfort levels were much higher for the man than the woman, with him scoring higher on eight out of the ten occupations. This is despite the fact that both of them were judged, on average, to be the same age, which was 68. The groups that were the least comfortable in the older person's working ability were the youngest, the 15 to 24, and the oldest, the 65 plus. And for both the man and the woman, the older the respondent estimated them to be, the lower their confidence was with them in the workforce, as you can see here for the case of the woman in this bivariate graph. So to conclude, it's an accepted fact that the population is aging, and in future, people will need to be much older when they retire. Our study shows that people have not yet accepted this reality, as the majority wish to retire at 60, nearly a decade before they believe people become old. But there were some positives. People tended to feel younger than their chronological age, and attitudes to older people in the workforce were positive, only though if it was other people working and not themselves. And we won some awards. Our school won the best school in the Republic of Ireland, and we won the RTE Award for Outstanding Achievement in the Social and Behavioural Category. And we also won the Overall Group Award for the BT Young Scientist, and we were the youngest ever winners. We were over the moon with this result, and we couldn't have been more grateful to our school, our teachers, our mentors, our parents, our siblings, and everyone who was involved in the BT Young Scientist and Technology Exhibition. We were very grateful, and it's given, opened up fantastic opportunities, such as speaking to you today. Thank, Thank you, you for, for your time. time.